Ugh. Oh no, I forgot to study. I don't know the last roughly 53 years of American history. I'm going to fail my A-push test. Life is going to be full of failure and pain. My parents are going to hate me. Ah, I have to study. Not on no. Who are you? Why are you in my closet? Are you Jesus? No, Jesus is one person. Are you Jesus and Jesus' friend? Getting closer. What are you... You're supposed to come out. Yeah, no, I'm point. supposed to come in, but I can't think Stop guessing. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm Ben. This is Chris. Kashuk's around here somewhere, too. And we're here to help you learn all that American history that you slept through. And I'm Kashi. Kashi! You do not speak unless spoken to! Oh shucks. Give me that five to a five. Dude, stop. Mom's gonna kill me. She spent 20 bucks on that. Well, she should have checked Amazon. Just close your eyes, and I'll take you to the year 1960. Chris? Wake up! What? Nothing's different. Nothing's different. Look at the TV. What's on it? There's just some foxy man and some melting looking old dude. That foxy man is John F. Kennedy. He won the election because all the voting women thought that he was a babe. And that's why women shouldn't vote. You said it, Kashik. Oh my god. Duck and cover! Duck and cover! Ugh. What? Oh my god! It's cigar manufacturer slash leader of Cuba, Fidel Castro! Hope you don't live in Florida, because I have missiles. We don't. But luckily, we've got Kennedy. I, uh, I uh, think you uh, should not bomb us. Well, I guess we should just ignore each other for a while. Sounds like a deal. Now, everybody loved Kennedy. Particularly Jackie O. And Marilyn Monroe and several White House interns. And that's why it was such a bummer when Kennedy went down to Texas. Here, lay down on this grassy knoll. I'm the best president! What's up? As you can see, this was a great tragedy for America. Luckily, the lone shooter, Lee Harvey Oswald, was caught. He's in a building right over there. Oh, shooter, there's another guy right over there. No, you didn't. Let's go. So after the sexy JFK got shot, the less sexy Lyndon B. Johnson came into the office of the president. Then he ran against the even less sexy libertarian weenie, yeah. Barry Goldwater. On the AP exam, you'll probably have to put them in order from highest to least sexy pick. Hey, Bush! So anyway, JFK had all these good ideas that he couldn't pass about making people not poor and stuff. And But then, LBJ went into office and he was like, Guys, look at all these great ideas I have! We can make everybody healthy and not that poor! And some people were like, Sweet, dude! I have food stamps and medicine now. I can keep my diabetes ravaged feet. But some people were like, Dude, the pinko commie Democrats are taking over everything. Go back to Russia. And while all this is happening, we can't forget about black people. Ethan, can you go get the host? So basically, what happened is all these black guys were like, Hey everyone, would it be cool if I had rights though? And all the white guys were like, No, screw that. These cool, oppressed black dudes would all be in the street and yell about their rights. Man, knock horrible. knock, who's there? I want my rights. So what the white dudes would do is hose them down until the water would make them stop wanting their rights. <laughs> so they kept at it until the white dudes stopped closing them down. A lot of that was because of Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream that one day I will have rights. I can't stay mad at you, MLK. <laughs> and then everyone had rights, legally speaking. All things considered, the civil rights movement probably made the biggest impact on American culture. Getting mad about civil rights was part of the politics people got most mad about, and black dudes singing about being oppressed was probably the best part of American culture ever. Like that one song. How'd it go? R E S P E C T. What are you doing? What it means to me. R E S P E C T. 
Wait, what kind of TV do they watch in the 60s? They watch shows like The End, you get the show. You know the really wholesome one with Opie and all the whistling? <laughs> Let's move into the 70s. Close your eyes. Down, 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 down. What are you guys singing? Black Sabbath, da. It's what you listen to when you're cool like me. Alright. So the first big non-Black Sabbath related big deal of the 70s is Watergate. Remember Richard Nixon? Oh, the not sexy one? Yeah. Yes, it is I, Richard Nixon. I wiretapped the Democrats, and now I'm being charged as a crook. Oh, poor dick. The bummer about Watergate is what it did is it overshadowed the rest of Nixon's presidency. He made us best buds with China. Isn't that right, buddy? Yes. And that's why everything is so cheap and full of lead paint. Luckily, Ford bailed Nixon out. Oh, sweet. But that sucks! Well, don't be an idiot. Next time you break the law, be president. Anyways, dude, there's this huge oil crisis. Some dudes were like, yo, Israel, you suck! And then Israel was like, no! You suck! And then America was like, yo Israel, we got your back, cuz. And then the dudes were like, yo USA, you like driving cars? And we were like, yeah, what of it, fool? And they were like, no more gas! And we, the government, was like, dude, lame. But the people were like, dude, why did I drop my kids to soccer practice? Oh my god! And everyone was mad. Mostly at Jimmy Carter, the nice guy president. Jimmy Carter was probably the nicest guy to ever exist. A nice guy shouldn't be president. They always finish last. Think of that song. I'm not saying. So, anyways, these Iranian dudes took some of our dudes and said, Dude, we got your dudes. Come and get them. And Jimmy Carter sucked at that. It's true. Jimmy Carter can't negotiate his way out of an Iranian paper bag. Everyone was outside the White House yelling, Bring back the dudes! So we had to wait for Canadians and Ben Affleck to get the dudes. But by then, Ronald Reagan was going to be president. But before that, in 1980, there was going to be an Olympic Games over in Russia, right? And everyone was like, cool dude, I love the Olympics. But before it happens, Russia starts this war with Afghanistan. And America's like, dude, not cool. And we say, okay, so basically, if you keep killing those Afghanistan dudes, we're not long jumping with you. And Russia was all, bring it, brah. And they kept killing the dudes. So then, instead of playing in Russia, America took a whole bunch of dudes teams and had the Liberty Bell games. Everyone was bummed. But the Liberty Bell games were cool. That's like the dumbest. They were cool. <laughs> all in all though, Vietnam had the biggest effect on the 70s. The dudes in the north were all, Communism is sweet! But the dudes in the south were all like, Communism blows, okay? So, there was a war. It started in the 60s, but everyone was still there in the 70s, and then everyone was mad because everyone was dying in the most expensive ways in this jungle. It's like that movie Platoon. Go watch that. Charlie Sheen's in it. And it's killer! Chris. Just no. Okay, just... <laughs> but the best movie of the 70s was A Clockwork Orange. Dude, A Clockwork Orange! Ethan, what's A Clockwork Orange? Uh, okay. This movie of the 1970s. A Clockwork Orange. DUDE! A Clockwork Orange! What's a Clockwork Orange? Don't blink! Watch! Don't blink! Watch! Watch! Are you watching? Pay attention! Pay attention! You see it? Rahul! And then after that we can watch the best show of the 70s, which is that 70s show. Or, I mean, All in the Family. It's about this dude, and he's racist. That's it. He's got a chair, too. It taught us that although being racist is occasionally hilarious, we shouldn't do it. You said it, Cracker. Ha 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 ha! Ah. Anyway. All right. Close your eyes. You gotta move on. What's that majestic sound? Heavy metal. The undisputed champion of 1980s music is David Lee Roth era Van Halen. Poison, 
and Guns N' Roses. Kashuk reminds me of Prince. Shut up, Ben. We could do cool Prince screams all day. Or cool David Lee Roth screams all day. The point is, in 1980, Ronald Reagan became president. This was because he was a cool actor dude who hated socialism but loved both Jesus and blowing stuff up. He did this thing called the Reaganomics, where rich people have to pay less taxes so they'll make jobs for poor people. But they didn't, and everyone who wasn't rich got poorer. See, Ronald Reagan just didn't like poor people or Russians. That's why he spent so much money launching lasers into space so he could blow them up if he needed to. See, he called that the Star Wars plan. Ronald Reagan wanted to be Darth Vader, or Darth Maul, or the Sith Lord. Darth Maul's the coolest, obviously. Obviously. But everyone loved him, even if they were poor. Didn't really make sense. Good, but Ronald Reagan, he knew how to talk to people on TV. He made sure that even poor southern people were mad about getting poorer. But they would still like him, because they both liked Jesus. Like, a whole lot. Three cheers for Jesus! And Reagan! Hip hip! hip. Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! But some people didn't like Reagan. Like Jello Biafra. I'm in a band! Drug policy is stupid! Nancy Reagan is ugly! That's it. Probably the biggest thing about the 80s was the AIDS scare. Some guy in Africa like ate a monkey brain or something. But then Freddie Mercury died and everyone freaked out because there's like no cure or something like Basically, don't do drugs or have sex or bleed on people. And so, essentially, don't be David Lee Roth, don't be Prince, don't be Brett Michaels, don't be the lead singer from Extreme, who cares who that is, and don't be Tom Hanks in Philadelphia. You can be Denzel Washington in Philadelphia. He's a great though. lawyer and a great man. Alright. Mystic Pizza. What's the best 80s movie of all time? First you stay off. What's the best 80s movie of all time? Good enough. What is that, Nirvana? No, it's Weird Al's parody of Nirvana. Much better than Nirvana. Welcome to 1994. Who's that? Pauly Shore. 90s comedy sensation. Fruit fruit. Cold War's over, buddy. We stopped texting Russia's gigs so hardcore. They figured out that communism was crusty and stuff getting all... Uh. Uh. What? You'll get used to it. Anyways. In 1992, we elected Bill Clinton, and the economy got all perfect, because Bill Clinton's all perfect. But things didn't turn out so well. What happened? We'll tell you, buddy. Got any grindage? <laughs> Wait, so what happened? Oh, gross! So he got impeached after all that. Which was a bummer, but clearly much more than he deserved. Bill Clinton cares about his nuts, chitlin, and grantage. <laughs> oh, one more. Cool. In 2000, his vice president, environmental golden boy Al Gore, ran against like that guy. Who? Howdy, my fellow Americans. <laughs> So on election night, a whole bunch of weird stuff happened with the votes in Florida, and those votes became like a Supreme Court matter, and that totally screwed over Gore. The following eight years featured the greatest decrease in support for the Electoral College ever. <laughs> then 9-11 so, happened, and everyone was like, DUDE, WE GOTTA GET SOME REVENGE ON THE DUDES WHO DID THIS! We sure did. And I sent, so I sent up some dudes to kill those dirt freedom haters. Al-Qaeda and Saddam are evil freedom haters. Did I mention they hate freedom? And then I got him killed, something you never did. <laughs> George Bush, you ruined my country! Ow! <laughs> I know who you are. You're Barack Obama. 
You're black and the president. Good for you. Good for America. See, the Democratic Party, they knew that. And only I had the strength to beat the rogue Tea Party ideals of McCain and Palin. No fir uh, first lady could do that. Psh, Hillary. You tell him, Mr. President. Uh-oh. Looks like you have an egg pussy lamb to get done. Better close those eyes. That's all you need to know from those years. Time to push it to the limit. Yes, we did. 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 We should have gotten a close up of what the book was. Stop, Ben. Keep it going. Let it burn, 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 burn. A push, we don't care now. Five to A, five, we don't care about you, John Brown. Oh, that's looking nice. Look at it, girl. Beautiful. Five steps to a fire. Look at those sides. <laughs> hey, they put it out yet? No, it's no. Ready to go. It's gotta go to dust. It's a beautiful thing we're witnessing here. <laughs> this one's for you, Chad. This is so this illegal. One's, this one's for Z. For you, in Chad. The sequel, for in the Chad. sequel, we'll do the pageant. One <laughs> from the scrapbook. Man. You see, Ethan, under the Bush administration, there was a lot of, you know, so-called human rights violations, such as waterboarding. You know what waterboarding is? Well, let me demonstrate for you. Who loves America? Who loves America? Okay. I don't know. What's that, buddy? <laughs> <laughs>